I did get my first job. I started my career by doing three internships back to back. So here's how to get a job or get clients as a professional content writer and get paid. Number one, internships. Considering you are entirely new with no credible experience, your best bet is to start by doing an internship. Start as an intern in any credible organization or under someone where you will learn new things, get trained and gather experience. Please never do an unpaid internship whether you are a fresher or not. Remember, exposure and learning will not pay your bills. So always do paid internships even if the stipend is a trivial amount. There is a saying that a journey of a thousand miles start with a single step. So start your first step into content writing today. Now you may ask how and where to get internships from. Well, use platforms like LinkedIn and Internshala to get one. I started my career by doing three internships back to back and I landed all of those using Internshala. So try that link will be in the description box below and let me know in the comments if you need any help. Number two, full time job. Once you have done your internship and have some credible experience under your belt and know how to write professionally, it's time you look out for a full time job that pays well. At times, the company in which you have interned might give you a full time job offer if you did really well during your tenure. If that happens, then take up that job offer if it aligns with your interest or else whatever you have learned in your internship, try to fuse all that and make two things. Number one, a good CV and number two, a portfolio. I can't explain how to make a good CV and portfolio in this video because it will be too long. But if you want a detailed and dedicated video, then please let me know in the comments and I'll soon make one. After you have a good CV and a portfolio that highlights your skills and experiences as a content writer, then start incessantly applying to content writing jobs. Now, where will you do that? Well, platforms like Nokri.com and LinkedIn have tons of such relevant opportunities. I especially would vouch for LinkedIn because I did get my first job from LinkedIn and I still get all my clients from there. Start applying more and more since the competition is too high, it might take some time to get a reply from the recruiter. Chances are only 5 to 10% of them will reply. So don't lose hope. Keep applying whenever you find any relevant opportunity. One tip that can get you to increase your chances of getting hired is that when you read the job description and find that the recruiter has mentioned their email, then collect that email, write to them with a personalized message highlighting your skills, expertise and how you can help them if they hire you. Do include your CV or portfolio too so that they can see your work. I will soon make a detailed and dedicated video on how to send cold emails and DMs to your dream clients and how to work with them. So turn on the notification bell and stay subscribed. Number three, freelancing. Some of you may be wondering why I put freelancing as the third step and not second. Well, honestly, you can start freelancing after the first step too, which was internship, but it is not recommended. Freelancing is hard. It's lonely. Yes, you can be your own boss, but you won't have any mentor or support to guide you when you're stuck somewhere. That is why it is recommended to do internships first and then a full time job to gather some experience and insights on how the content industry works and then start your journey as a full time freelancer. For some, it can be stability issue as well, which is fine because freelancing is not stable. One month you can be earning a lot and for the next month you can be without work or clients. So do a full time job earn some money, have an emergency fund, learn your craft well, network with potential prospects or clients from your industry and then only start freelancing if you want to. If one chooses to do a full time job in content writing in a corporate or a company, it is fine too. Don't start freelancing just because you're having FOMO. You will soon regret it because it's a very dangerous territory and very hard to have a stable income. So to start freelancing, you need to have regular long term clients. So how to do that? Well, there are four universal factors to it. Number one, be good at what you do. Number two, reach out to more potential clients by cold emailing. Number three, always under promise and over deliver. Number four, maintain a healthy relationship with your clients. I can't show you a shortcut to that. You have to figure it out through experience. But then the question comes, how to find those clients? So. For that, I will show you a way by making a video on how to send cold DMs and how to find potential clients through LinkedIn. So turn on the notification bell and stay subscribed. But for now, let me give you some information. 
start looking for clients through linkedin i know a lot of influencers or youtubers will recommend upwork fiber or freelancer.com Trust me, you're better off without using those platforms. And there are three reasons for that. Number one, they are full of scams. Number two, they are very low paying. Number three, they require experience and ratings. I will soon make a detailed video on why you should avoid Upwork, Fiverr or Freelancer.com. So please turn on the notification bell and stay subscribed. So now back to freelancing. Considering you have a full-time job, don't quit until you have some regular clients lined up. Start your freelancing work on the side. It takes time to get freelancing business going from scratch. So keep your full-time job until you're earning enough money as a freelancer. Remember that you just don't wake up one day and decide that you will start a freelancing business. It does not work like that. Keep upskilling and keep experimenting. If you're planning to be a freelance content writer, for example, get the word out in your network. Try to build a community on LinkedIn before venturing out into full-time freelancing. Use LinkedIn to connect with potential prospects and clients who might hire you. And the last advice would be to set up a website for your freelance business. I will soon make a dedicated video on how to make a free website for your portfolio. This allows potential clients to find you and see your work which in turn builds credibility. Number four, agency owner. This is for freelancers with enough credible experience who has been doing it for years and have worked with multiple clients across the globe. Not recommended for someone who has just started their writing career. When you have a brand out of your name and you keep getting more work than you possibly can, you could start your own agency and hire interns and people with different expertise to distribute your work. Starting an agency also means that you have the required expertise and skills in your domain and know how to get clients which you have learned through your freelancing career. This is not a steadfast rule because some freelancers work solo also without building an agency and that is fine too. Number five, scaling your business. This comes after you have an established agency and have built a full-fledged team that can handle high volumes of work. The goal is to delegate or outsource your client's work so that you have free time to do something else. As you build more credibility and expertise working with different clients across the globe, you will be able to scale your business in terms of money, team strength and reputation. Scaling a business can be a tough nut to crack because building a team is the hardest part. And you also need to maintain a consistent stream of work now that you have salaries to pay. So having long-term retainer clients become a necessity to running an agency and scaling it. It takes years for a freelancer to reach that stage. So don't ponder upon it if you're just starting out. So to summarize, do an internship, get a job or start freelancing. Focus on the quality of work. Build good relationships with your clients. Try to get as many monthly retainers as you can. Build a team, delegate your work, scale your freelancing business and build a brand out of your name. I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video. I'm Anirban and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.